Hey everybody, welcome to another episode and adventure with the SMC Journal Show. I'm Scott Moore, your host. Thanks so much for being with me today. You noticed a few changes that are being done to our background, just small, slight changes and tweaks that we're making to the show for 2025, and hopefully you'll see more and more as we go through the year. Today's a little special because I'm bringing some footage that I found that has been unreleased for over a year from my vault of stuff, because I'm always recording stuff, uh, where I finally met in person Jay Axelrod, who has been a friend of mine for many years and a follower on LinkedIn, and it was good to finally connect and talk with him. He had actually flown over from Israel to be at this event, so it was pretty cool. Uh, we talked a little bit about just in general, what we think about load testing, where we're going with it, continuous testing, as well as what he feels is one of the biggest issues today with performance engineering and something that I think that everybody could could relate to. I think you'll get something out of this. And make sure you watch until the very end because I have a very special uh, thing to add there that uh, I didn't, I didn't want to have to isolate this person and just really embarrass them. Said I wasn't going to do it. Changed my mind. I'm going to do it. So you got to watch till the very end. So check it out. My interview with Jay Axelrod. Tell us about yourself, what you do. Sure. I work as an automation, but mostly in uh, performance testing as a, as a, a tester, as an engineer, as a leader. And that's kind of what I do. Okay. So you see stuff across the board, multiple clients, multiple companies. What are you seeing like from 2023 into 2024, some trends around whether it's performance or DevOps or whatever, what are the kind of things that are coming up to the surface more often than others? Yeah, I see a lot of companies now are starting to really appreciate and understand how API testing in performance is most important. Um, companies don't know that. They think UI is the whole thing, and they don't understand really why we're talking about APIs and the need to test from the start to finish, uh, work with the developers more. I think that's starting to come out. I think nowadays you have tools out there that the regular people, not just the automation performance people, can kind of get their hands on. So anybody really can kind of get their hands on some of the tools that are out there. So I think it's kind of not in the hands of the few. I think now that the testing can go to the hands of many. And now people kind of understand really what testing is, the type of performance testing, and how we're kind of going to that, uh, that move. So let's talk about testing in terms of, and all kinds of testing in terms of DevOps. So DevOps meaning continuous testing. Uh, smaller batches of things delivered faster, to get it out there faster, and to get that feedback to the developers faster. Um, what are you seeing in terms of that? Because to me, continuous testing sounds like a great idea, but then when you actually start to get to implement it, you run into sort of problems you haven't faced before, and it's easy to say you want continuous delivery, continuous testing. It's harder to do, right? Exactly, exactly. It's a, it's a great buzzword to always say CI, CD, continuous testing. And unfortunately, as we all know, it's difficult to implement. Uh, there's not a lot of people that have buy-in. Sometimes you don't have enough people to kind of see your vision. So to kind of really go where we want to go, you really do have to sell the the thought thought process where we're getting our defects sooner, we're fixing them sooner. So it sounds great, but unfortunately, manpower, resource issues, we can't get to there. That those all those areas. I think the best way to do this is to really uh, pick your pick your pick your fights, pick your areas. If there's one particular area that you can kind of have a success with, that's your selling points. And what I've done with the companies I work for is getting success and using that as a lunch and learn. You know what? I helped this area. We had all these areas. We tested more often. And you know what? Less defects because, and we, we, we caught them earlier. We fixed them sooner. You're getting more things off the backlog into our production. I think that's kind of the selling point. It's tough to really swallow all this in one shot. By kind of piece by piece, little by little, battle by battle, we can kind of get to those that area. So do you think that we still face these big issues with environments? Now that we move over to the cloud, we can just spin up another environment. So the envi is the environment solved today? Or are there other problems that we still need to solve to get continuous to be easier? I think the environment, uh, in some ways, dinner bell. I think some ways environment has helped us out. I think by cloud, I think it's made easier in some ways, but difficult in other ways. I think there's still battles to go. I think we still have infrastructure areas, people to speak to. I think now because we're talking about SRE models, um, expertise is in the hands of the few. So I think we have to knock on 
different doors. We still have to knock on doors and face our battles in other ways. Do we still face a huge skill shortage or are we getting that problem solved? You know what? That's, that's a good question. Uh, I do see a lot of people are getting skilled in performance testing. I see these classes, there's things out there, there's certifications out there. Uh, I don't see people with a holistic approach to can kind of handle from the next level. Performance testing, anyone could script it, anyone could run it. But the question is, why this tool? Why this type of test? Why a different type of test? I don't think they sh they teach that. So I think a little bit of people who know whether it's Neo Low, Low Runner, J Meter, K6, uh, uh, that stuff, Locus, people know that stuff. That's that's out there. As far as people knowing it well, and then kind of now implement. Uh, the tool and kind of now look at the different tests, why stress, why in capacity, why endurance, why concurrent, why not? I think those skills are still needed, uh, that we still have need for those. I completely agree. Thanks so much for being with me today. Thank you. Take it. World. I'm trying to see that take place. A lot of companies only think that UI, performance testing. Dude. You just walked in front of his whole interview. <laughs> I'm standing right here, bro. I there's like people. <laughs> I forgive you this time. It's on camera. Wait, I'm sorry. We let a curse where it's Brad Purcell ruins the whole episode. It's on him. Take two. Sending this to KBT. Okay. Here you go. Well, <laughs> let's let's start that over again. <laughs> I don't know what it is about conference events, but I have had that happen more than one time, either walking in front of us or directly behind of us when we're actually recording live. And I guess it's because my camera rig is so small. They're expecting to see this big bulky camera and a cameraman, and it's usually just me. So uh, hopefully we can avoid that in the future. But uh, Brad and I have been really, really good friends for a long time, and he was a good sport about that. We, we had a good laugh about that afterwards. So wanted to bring that to you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I would like to find out if there are specific things you'd like for me to bring to you in this programming for the rest of the remainder of this year. I want to keep bringing content that you want to see because that's the only way this show will survive. Uh, you can find me online very easily. I'm on most social media platforms. LinkedIn is primarily the most active one that I'm on, but you can also email me at any time at my email, heyscott at smcjournal.com. I hope you like this. I hope you'll give me some feedback on the show. I also hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel, which now has over 270,000 subscribers. So I must be doing something right. Hopefully I'll be doing more of that in the future. So stay in touch with me. Let me know how you're doing and keep watching the show. We'll see you next time on the SMC Journal Show. Bye-bye.